The title of this project is the relationship between gross domestic product, inflation, export, and import in Asia country. The objective of this project is to examine the relationship between the gross domestic product, import, and export, and inflation in Asian country. For this research, we use 10 main countries, which is Canada, Australia, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, New Zealand, Pakistan, Singapore, and Vietnam. For the data and methodology, we use sample of firm which is obtained the data of database world development indicators, which is inflation, the GDP in deflator annually, export of goods and services per percentage of GDP, import of goods and services in percentage of GDP from 10 Asian countries, which is mentioned earlier. For the dependent variable, as we, I, I said earlier, which is import, export, and inflation, and independent variable, which is gross domestic product. The, the specific model specification that we use in this project is the multiple regression. We come to the main part, which is we use Stata 12 to find the result of this project. Mainly, we find the, the descriptive statistic, which is we take 100 samples from each uh, We take 10 samples from each country with cumulative with 100 samples, which is 100 samples of GDP, inflation, export, and also import. Based on the result in descriptive statistic in table 1, as we can see, for example, we take GDP, the mean of the GDP is 4.034. The standard deviation of GDP is 2.3312, the minimum is 0 0.1039, and the median was 3.928, and the maximum is 12.5807. We can see in all of these have the positive value and doesn't have any negative value in this product. Move to the table 2. In this table, we can see correlation matrix. The correlation matrix is mainly used to, to see whether these two variables are correlated or not. Based on the table that we can see, there is no multicolonality in this research. I'm confident in the 12 that we can see the probability value is 0 0.0522, which is slightly higher than 0 0.05. That is it shows the data is non significant. This data tends to make the H1 remain and the H null will reject. This data also shows the coefficient of import uh, which is 0 0.118 and the standard is 0 0.051 and other data as well. According to the table 3, we can also see, see the white test which is the benchmark for our test. For instance, we take inflation, which is the white test error is 0 0.0770. Meanwhile, the firm trusted is 0 0.13. The firm effect is larger than the white standards. It's made, it shows the presence of the firm effect. It moved to the table 4, which is the last empirical result that we found in this research. In this table, we can see three main things, which is firm fixed effect. Pharma MacBook and also for two set system. Based on the result, we can see the firm fixed effect, which is shows p value is less than 0 0.05, which is shows the f value is 0 0.000. This shows the poll data is all positive except the export data shows negative which is the data coefficient value is 0 point, negative 0 0.0097 with standard error is 0 0.0745 while pharma macbook the export and the inflation shows positive which is significant which is 0 0.621 with standard error 0 0.0296 
for two step system test p value is larger than 0 0.000 then it tends to reject hash now and in table 4 we can could uh, we can also conclude which is the ta the data is insignificant because it's less than 1% significant level